Welcome to God's Own TV. Almighty God, we grant your request. Abatoa Rambo opposes Abel Demina's counter sermon, lectures him on obedience. Philip Oyeleye, who played the role of a popular character known as Rambo in the Abatoa series, has opposed the stand of Pastor Abel Damina, founder of Abel Damina Ministries International, on the message of obedience made by Salvation Ministry founder Pastor David Ipiome. Recall that just a few weeks ago, a message by Pastor David Ipiome surfaced online where he testified on how God made a covenant of wealth with him after he gave $1 million offering to God in a single service in 2012. In a complete video, he was speaking about faith and obedience to God, which led him to share his striking story. But the video soon went viral, causing an uproar on the internet with some persons debunking his story and some accepting it. Among others who kicked against the story of the man of God was Pastor Abel Damina. In his reaction to the video, Pastor Damina noted that God is not interested in the gifts given by men because he possesses all things. Furthermore, he argued that it is of no use for Pastor David Ibiome to give God such amount as offering since the offering he gave was from the church account and also sold into the same church account. Meanwhile, the response of Pastor Abel generated a lot of controversies as usual, and many social media users supported his counter sermon, while others objected. One of those who objected Pastor Damina was Abatua movie star actor Philip Oyelei who played the role of Rambo. Take into the comment section of the post shared by Tunde Ednot to react to Pastor Abel Damina's stand. Philip noted that Abraham almost sacrificed his son, and Solomon's sacrifice moved God. He explained that whenever God acts, he is interested in our obedience and willingness to release the precious things we may want to hold on to. Therefore, he encouraged Pastor Abel Damina to take enough time to listen to Pastor David Ibume's full sermon to understand what his sermon pointed towards, which was obedience and not just giving. In his words, he wrote, God owns the cattle and sheep of the earth, but was moved by Solomon's sacrifice, then moved by his heart to service. Why did God still request it for Abraham's son Isaac when he got a ram in his backyard? Remember, he owns the earth, so by logic, he has no right, doesn't need what your gift. So, we should not bother giving at all, not follow his instruction of giving to him, ba? I agree some preachers are scammers, but when we correct, let's find a balance. God sees your heart, not your gift. Can you obey? Can you let go what's most precious to you for him? Meaning, do you love me to the moon? Just the way you can do anything for your earthly girlfriend where you never marry. Listen to the first preacher well. He said obedience was his test. I beg, make I go. And did he mention he paid it into his church account? I beg, let's leave this matter for Matthias. What are your thoughts on this controversial issue? Let us know in the comment section below. Someone may learn from you. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and remember that Jesus loves you.